Hey guys, it's Gator. We have another battle against Butler 93 Pokemon Mad. This one is for Miss Fame's tournament. Um, this was the third round, and we both brought sand teams, so definitely gonna have some fun with this uh, sand and shit. I don't know. But uh, I'm Scarf, so I'm just gonna Volt Switch out because we both need Rotom Wash. And he told me, oh, you won the Speed Tide in Skype, so I'm thinking, okay, he went for the Volt Switch too, so I go into Extra Joe, he hits me with the Hydro Pop, I'm dead. Um, you might be thinking why I didn't go into Celebi. Well, his team has Glissor and Ferrothorn and Rotom Wash, which can all decently handle uh, Drill. And I thought Celebi would be a ton more useful in this match than um, Drill. So I just sacked Drill right off the bat. Even though I thought he was going to go for the Volt Switch, but he doesn't. So now I know he's going to want to switch, I'm just going to go for the trick. I know I wasn't going to, I was going to stop tricking early on in the match, but I really, I was pretty sure he's going to switch there, and he does have Glissor, I didn't want to get caught in a Volt Switch. Now that it's Ferrothorn Scarf, I'm pretty sure he's either going to go for, like, um, some sort of hazards, rocks, or uh, spikes, and he does set up his rocks right now. So, I'm just going to go into Celebi, and here I'm going to make a double switch, thinking that he'd want to go into Latios, actually, seeing it resists basically all my moves unless I have been in Power Ice, so I go into Tyranitar, and now the Sandstorm's up, so his extra drill's going to have some fun on my team, but uh, he's actually going to go into his own Tyranitar, it's like, uh-oh. Because uh, I, I wasn't sure what type of Tyranitar it was. It could have been like banded with superpower or any of those things. So I'm going to switch and go into Rotom Wash. And he actually just goes for a sub. So I'm like, okay. Sub definitely is going to have Focus Punch. I don't know if it has Dark Pulse or Crunch yet. Probably Crunch and then Flamethrower, Fire Blast, whatever the last move is. So it's Tyranoboa. So I'm just going to go ahead and go for the Volt Switch. Because I don't want my Rotom Wash taking a... Taking a what you might call it focus punch, because Rotom Wash is my only decent Pokemon besides Reuniclus to take on that drill, because that is a Life Orb drill with X Scissor and um Swords Dance Rock Slide. You know, you know what drill does. Everyone knows what drill does. So even though I knew Celebi would be pretty useful in the match, I don't really have anything else to break its sub, unless I like try to go back and Rotom Wash and Volt Switch out again. It probably wouldn't even break its sub since Tyranitar gets that special defense boost. So I'm just going to go for the Giga Drain, thinking I might be able to live it if it's a Dark Pulse. But if it's a Crunch, I'm pretty sure I'm going to die, and he does have Crunch. So that's pretty much going to ruin Celebi. So I basically uh, sacked, well not really sacked, because he did make a nice prediction on Drill, but you get the point. Both Drill and Celebi are now dead, which sucks. But his Ferrothorn is Scarf, so for the most part it's going to be useless. So now I'm going to go into Mian Chao to scare it off. I'm just going to go for the Safe High Jump Kick. I don't want him to think I have Hidden Power Ice just yet, because he could be a Protect Glissor, and if he protects and sees that I go for Hidden Power, he's probably going to switch or something. So just to play it safe, and I know I could probably come back in later, I don't have too much problems with Glissor, I'm going to go for the U-turn. And I get really lucky here. I was thinking of going to Rotom W, but if he's a Protect Glissor, he's probably going to have uh, Toxic. So actually going to Reu Reuniclus, because I could still set up on this Glissor if it's a, whatchamacallit, Protect Glissor not taunt or whatever but uh he goes for the toxic which is really good because i don't it doesn't show my uh flame orb so now i'm gonna go for the trick predicting his tyranitar and i get his tyranitar burned which is awesome because even though i can't touch this thing a tyranitar burned is definitely good for me because that pretty much cripples it the only thing it can really do now is uh whatever its special move is fire blast ice beam so now i'm gonna go into rotom wash since it's burned i know i can take at least a couple hits and he's gonna go for the crunch that's not gonna do too much and I'm not going to overpredict here. I know his Tyranitar is burned. He might just want to sack it, seeing um, the weather's already up. So I'm just going to go for the Hydro Pump. And he, I think he either thought he'd live with enough to set up a sub, or he thought I'd go for the Volt Switch, but he just goes for a sub and it doesn't work out in his favor because I just went straight for the pump, and luckily I didn't miss. And I think I said this before, I tend to hit Hydro Pump like all the time, but when it comes to Stone Edge, I miss a thousand percent of the time, so... I'm just going to go for the Volt Switch, kill off his Tyranitar, so I'm not out of it yet, even though his Extra Drill is still a big problem, because my Extra Drill is dead, and Rotom Wash is really weak. So I'm just going to go in back into Mianchao, because it uh, has the priority fake out. He's going to go in a Glissor, and I'm pretty sure he doesn't think I have Hidden Power Ice, because I went for the U-turn earlier on it, so I'm going to go for Hidden Power here, and I catch it, and kill it. <sighs> Fried and uh, sold at the fish market right there. So that Glissor goes down, so... I think the score is 4-4, four, 3-4, four, four, it's something. But here, I didn't want him to go for a Swords Dance, so I basically sacked Bian Xiao. Uh, if he would have went for a Swords Dance, I pretty much would have lost. 
because Rotom Wash definitely cannot take a plus two anything. <coughs> Excuse me. So, uh, fearing that he might just try to rock slide me and kill me off, I'm just going to go straight for the Hydro Pump, not going to try to predict anything. And he's just going to go into Ferrothorn. But I can just uh, Volt Switch out, seeing he's Scarf, he's going to have to lock himself into a move. I'm thinking it's going to be some sort of status or spikes. I wasn't thinking he'd go for an attacky move, so I'm just going to Volt Switch out. And go into Reuticlus, but he actually does go for Power Whip. Now, I didn't know he would have Power Whip because he has Stealth Rock, and usually when I see Stealth Rock, they only have Gyro Ball as their attacking move because they have like Spikes or Thunder Wave, Leech Seed. But he does have Power Whip, so he might not have Gyro Ball. So he sees that Power Whip does nothing, so I'm going to set up a Calm Mind, and he's going to switch into Latios. And I'm fearing a trick because this is my last hope if I want to win. I need Latios, not Latios, I Reuniclus with Calm Minds up. Because if I get those Calm Minds up, um, Drill can't uh, KO me. And I can be able to KO or at least maybe two a KO him if I'm at plus six. I don't know how much it would do. I'm pretty sure it'd do a lot. But he actually goes for the Draco Meteor, so I'm thinking, okay. So it doesn't have trick, so I should be in pretty good shape. Now, I really wanted to catch his drill on the switch. I did not care about this Latios one bit, seeing that it doesn't have trick anymore. Well, that I found out it doesn't have trick. So uh, I'm just going to go for the Flamethrower, but he goes into Ferrothorn and actually lives this, which is actually really good. That I have Flamethrower instead of Fire Blast in this situation because instead of just killing off this Ferrothorn, I'm going to go into Reuniclus and try to set up on it. And I think here he just goes for the Gyro Ball thinking I'm just going to kill it off. But see, that's kind of weird. I never knew, well I don't see that too often where they have Gyro Ball, Power Whip, and Stealth Rock. That means his last move is probably Leech Seed so he doesn't have Spikes I'm thinking. So I'm going to go for the Calm Mind again and now I know it doesn't have Trick so I can take the Draco Meteor and then recover all the damage. And then he'll be forced to switch. And if he goes in Rotom W and tries to trick me then, I'll just lock myself in the Psychic. But he goes for the Draco Meteor here. And I'm just going to recover off all the damage after... No, I'm not going to recover off all the damage. Yep. Play the game. Critical hit. Ruining Reuniclus. And that pretty much seals the deal that he won the battle. You, th you thought I was actually going to win, didn't you? You guys actually thought I would win that battle. But uh, not going to win the battle. I'm just not going to win, dude. It's impossible now because Reuniclus was literally my last hope. It did have max defense, but his drill was life orb and it did pack X's or so. I know that wouldn't KO, but meh. Things would have been closer at least if he didn't get the crit. But you know, shit happens. You just got to deal with it. So he's, I'm just going to kill off his Latios and he's going to kill off my Tyranitar. And all I have left is Rotom Wash and Rotom Wash is extremely weak. And seeing I have absolutely no defensive investment, I'm pretty sure even if I had defensive investment, it wouldn't matter. Because Drill has a ridiculous attack and it's life orb. He's going to kill me off, that's a game. So I'm out of this Fabes tournament, but it was still a good battle, so it was Gator. I'll see you guys next time.